Hey everyone, Sam 84 here with another Transformers Studio Series review. And this should take a look at Studio Series number 64, Cliff Jumper from the Bumblebee movie. You can see his box art right here. Move the figure to the side. CGI where he's got the Cybertron Falls backdrop inside. More artwork. Twin steps get you all the way around. Uh, as the battle on Cybertron rages, Cliff Jumper and his fellow Autobots are overwhelmed by the Decepticon attack. Yeah, more artwork. You know your box. Put it to the side. And now let's take a look at the actual figure of Cliff Jumper. He's holding his weapon, which is very much like Bombies. We'll take that for a second. So we just saw the overall figure. Uh, he uses the off-road Bumblebee mo uh, mold. Uh, he kind of hides it well, especially in vehicle mode. You can't tell because he almost seems like a totally different Transformer. But he pretty much uses this mold here. Uh, they have the same thighs, legs, arms. Uh, they... The chest transforms very similar to the same kind of neck attachment piece and everything like that. And you just overall see that they are very, very similar. Whereas Clifton Burpers wears the entirety of the top of the car on his back. Go on the side. Uh, you see where is it? Well, it's one of the biggest faults of this toy right here. Uh, overall, the figure is designed. He looks nice. He looks really good. He is a nice looking Clifton Burpers. Very very close to the accurate in the movie. Head sculpt is probably you can get most of the paint on the figure from, and it is applied magnificently on my figure. Nice blue eyes, silver face. You can see his mouth is molded right there. One complaint maybe on this figure is biggest complaints. Nothing really on tabs in. This piece here will not tab in at all. Just constantly pops out. This one will tab in, uh, but the leg piece back here, they don't lock in anymore very well. So they're constantly, if you move them around, his back of his legs are going to open, move around. That is a, a sore point, a sore point. I don't like that <laughs> at all, really. It's, it's just, you can't try to pose the figure, you just have to keep fixing the back of the legs. And this piece here don't tab in, so that moves constantly as well. Some of his joints are overly tight. Uh, his elbow joint here is very tight it's pinned not screwed uh it's also his bicep swivel is really tight on that side also this piece right here in transformation is very tight it's clear plastic it's painted clear plastic that is same with his feet uh, and the most of the front of the top of the car is as well so i'll just be careful with certain things like that Overall, comparisons with size, you saw him with Bone Beat, they actually made Bone Beat taller. He's actually taller than Cliff Jumper. I don't really like that. I'd rather Bone Beat be shorter, but hey, that's just my own personal sticking point. Other comparisons with this figure. Here he is next to Wave Mate, Sound Wave, or I don't know how I'm going to call him, Lame Wave. Sorry. Next to Wave Mate, Top Spin, who just has a lot of crap on his arms. And next to Earthrise Cliff Jumper, I, I just figure some people might want this comparison. It, there's really it's apples and oranges here because they're two totally different lines, but it's the a interpretation of the same character, Cliff Jumper. Both are deluxes. Sizes are different, so that could be a sticking point for some people. Some people may want to collect one or the other. Some people will buy anything that's the Studio Series. Some people will just buy all Earthrise kind of stuff like that. So it's not going to apply to everyone. But if you had to pick just one cliff jumper, I'd still go with the Earthrise for the fact that it is engineered more, has more articulation, things to hold and tab better on that figure. But they both look good. If you're into the studio series, the, the movie verse, this cliff jumper is still a nice looking cliff jumper. All right, to look at Cliff Jumper's weapon, it is the exact same thing as Bumblebee's. This is the off road Bumblebee's weapon. This is Cliff Jumper's. They are the same thing. Cliff Jumper's is just molded in black plastic, whereas Bumblebee's is molded in gray. And Cliff Jumper's does have a little bit of paint on it. They painted some of it silver so it stands out. And right here, there is a peg. You just peg it on his hand. And it will look as though it just formed out of his arm. And like he's not actually holding a weapon, his arm transforms into the weapon kind of bumblebee in the movies also if you don't want him to be holding weapon you want to store it it can be stored on his back you don't have to just lay it about all you do is shove it in the big gaping hole his face to his front like this a little circle piece is there and it just goes in there and just stores in his back anyway he can just grab it when he needs it articulation on this cliff jumper you got shoulder joints to here uh you kind of 360 around the tires getting away elbows bends to there 
you have a bicep swivel. Hips go out to here. Kick forward to there. Go back to there. Knee bends to there. You have a upper thigh swivel here. You do get a foot rock front and a little bit back. You have a slight ankle articulation, especially if you pull this down a little bit and get a little bit more. And you can move this piece up. And it allows your ball joints to move slightly more. See his leg this is trying to fiddle with a freaking figure and everything comes untabbed. Yeah, you get a by uh, a waist swivel here to here. He's got a lot of junk in the back that just catches. Head, uh, you can 360 it around. Uh, does doesn't really look down. You can has this hinge at the base here. You can get it oh, really high up, so you can do like the Superman fly. So you can do that with him. Also, he has this little piece here. Uh, you might notice this if you're looking at the figure. Get your freaking foot out of the way. There is a hinge back here that has nothing in it. That is a leftover piece from the Bumblebee mold. And I'll show that off real quick. On Bumblebee, it has this piece here. <laughs> Hinged in to that. And since they use the same torso, waist, and upper... Uh, leg pieces the thighs uh it all it just stayed on there and so it's there so if you notice that that's what that was supposed to be so leftover remnant from bumblebee now let's get to transformation all right first thing i'll do remove the gun from his back we'll put it to the side and you want to take the front chest piece here you want to bring this down open it up you want to turn him around to the back this piece here there's two big long pieces that is tapped into his back so you want to pull that out, down, pull this open like so, and then you can pull this piece back like this. Now we see how it's going to form the roof of his vehicle mode. Bring this down, pull this piece out. Now these pieces are on this hinge right here. And you see it is just clear plastic. There are two hinges that are clear, one here and one in the back. So you don't want to be pushing from here if it's tight because you might snap them. It's like making it not focused. Uh, it might snap it here. So you want to try to push it down close to the actual hinges. So you don't want to snap those pieces. So Got that one. So you just want to fold it in. I think I just saw a piece go flying off my figure, man. You son of a bitch. So that fold in like that, you take his head, you want to fold it up. This all just goes back, you take them at the shoulders, you want to bend these to actually in. A little bit, you should rotate this in. Then you bring his head and it just folds into this cavity back here. And then you just want to push this back up and this goes into there. Turn them at the bicep swivel, you want to be straight, and you want to turn them outwards. So where the bicep, the elbow joint lines up with the outside of the arms. Do that on both. Now there are tabs right here on the inside of his elbows, which will go into these little slots down here. So it's all about lining that up. So if I can move his legs out of the way. Big backpack kind of gets in your way a little bit. So you line that up. We'll push that in, do both arms. Come down to his legs down here. You want to take this piece here. It's on, you would untab it if it would actually stay tabbed in. This is on this little clear plastic hinge. You bring this up, you see the door? You know, this little hinge right here. Not hinge, this little slot right here. There's a tab here on this, well, I guess be his door. So you'd bring that down and that will tab into that piece right there. Like that. And do the same thing on the other. You'd untab it, hinge it that way, and tab it. You need to come down here to his feet. You will fold these up to his shins. Tab, slot, and you see all the clear plastic again. So let's tab together. Then you want to take this here, bring his tires up. And the whole piece then will then rotate around. See a tab here or a peg is going to peg in down here. To do that, bring it around. 
I've untabbed everything apparently. Push that in. Let's tie these back together. So let's push tire up. Bring this down. Now we're going to tab that in. And also this little piece here will catch onto that. Now there are two clear plastic tabs here, which will go right here in these little slots. Also, there's tabs here that will catch in the little gaps. And this little piece will fit like a puzzle. And there are small little tabs right here that will go underneath this back here. So I just want to line that up. And it's all just by lining that in. Like that. And push those tabs in the front in. Doing so will usually pop doors off. And you just got to re-tab it. And that is cliff jumper tabbed in. And vehicle mode. Now you can take this piece here, which I should have showed it before I did all that. But the two little uh, silver tabs here are actually tab in down here in these little clear plastic catches. You can do it before you actually close the roof of the car. Or you can just reach in here and do it underneath and just tap it together. So I just tapped it in down here. I just did it off camera because I can't see it very well once I get closer to my eyes. But then it stores the weapon underneath this vehicle. So something very similar to Bone Bay transformed into something a lot different. You see he's got red paint on the uh, hubcaps of the car. Uh, clear translucent plastic here. And he's got black paint here for the front of the car. Clear translucent plastic shines through here on the bottom of his feet in the roof's car. So he's got a lot of clear plastic that's just painted. Uh, but not very many paint apps other than that on the actual vehicle. So, yeah, came... so let's see how well he rolls. He rolls pretty good. So we'll do a few size comparisons. Here he is with Mold Mate Bumblebee. Next to Roadbuster, and Roadbuster is actually a lot bigger than Cliff Jumper. Next to Generation Select's hubcap should be the same size as the uh, Earthrise Cliff Jumper in vehicle mode. So give you some size character of Cliff Jumper versus Cliff Jumper. Vroom, use them as a ramp. All right, so final thoughts on Studio Series Cliff Jumper. He's a nice looking figure. He's well designed, I would say. Just the look of the figure is well designed. Now he uses the Bumblebee off-road mode mold mode mold and he uses it well uh you know you can tell especially in transformation that things go similar you just have the same thighs arms and crotchetal piece but he does still feel like a different figure especially when you get into vehicle mode he feels like a totally different mold than he than the bumblebee does uh biggest complaints are that he's got a lot of painted clear plastic uh i've heard that's prone to snapping i don't know it depends on the pressure you probably apply just be careful with this right here because mine is tight it's got a lot of tight joints on this figure that could be just my copy otherwise the paint's applied well he looks good uh this legs could be done better tabs could hold better but i had that complaint with a lot of studio series figures tabs don't hold they don't tap it at all pop out easy stuff like that and just, i just feel his legs weren't engineered properly i've already moved this piece it's supposed to be like that it just it needs to be able to lock in better um other than that excellent figure if you had to pick up just between him thompson and Soundwave, of this deluxe wave i think the offer bumblebee is in this wave as is the jet mode shatter I would say Cliff Jumper out of the new ones is the better so far. Just out handling them out of first impressions. I've messed around with Cliff Jumper more so than I have Top Sin. I haven't really done anything with him, but just kind of fiddle with the robot mode. Soundwave. I love Soundwave. He's my favorite character. You can tell by my channel name. Uh, I, my next studio series review will probably be him. And uh, it, it's not going to go well. I'll tell you that. But I want to say thanks for watching this review. Until the next one. Peace out.